there's always something to worry about. Uh, if you own stocks, there's always something to worry about. You can't get away from it. Uh, what happens in the 50s, people were worried about uh, the, the only reason we got out of the Depression was World War II. We got another recession. In the early 50s, they said, we're going to go right back into a depression. People were worried about a depression in the 50s, and they were worried about nuclear war. I mean, back then, uh, you know, the, the little warheads they had then, they couldn't blow up McLean, West Virginia, or McLean, Virginia, you know, or, or Charlestown. Now, all these countries that end in Stan, there's nine of these Stan countries that have come out of Russia, they all have enough warheads to blow the world up, and no one worries about it. When I was a kid, people were building fallout shelters, and we used to have this, this civil defense drill. Remember this one in high school? I mean, you get under your desk. I never thought even then that was a particularly good thing to do. <laughs> you know, they'd blow a whistle, somebody put a hat and we'd all get under our desk, you know. It, uh... But in the 50s, people wouldn't buy stocks, except for the 80s. The 50s was the best decade, the century of the stock market. And people wouldn't buy stocks in the 50s because they're worried about nuclear war and they're worried about depression. Then people, <coughs> remember when oil went from 4 to 40 and, and it was going to go to 100 and we we're going to have a depression? Remember that one? Well, about three years later, the same experts, now higher paid, oil's now at 10, and they said it was going to go to 4, and we're going to have a depression. And then the Japanese, remember how the Japanese were going to own the world? Remember that one? And that we're going to have a depression? And then about two years later, we're all worried about Japan collapsing. And this is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. There's a company with a 20% savings rate, incredible workforce, incredible productivity, and people are saying we're going to have a depression because Japan's going to collapse. And they had, you know, on their prayer list, they load Mother Teresa and triple children, and they were praying for Japan at night. You know, you know, you know it's unbelievable. I mean, it's... The LDC debt, remember the LDC debt? Remember that one? All these countries, all Chase had lent their net worth to Brazil, Chile, Peru, and all these other countries, and so had and all the other countries. And LDC said they were not going to pay it back, and we we're going to have a depression. It always ends, and we're going to have a depression. Or the Great Depression, we're going to have the Great Depression. I never could quite understand that adjective in front of depression, but the, uh, or the Great Depression, or the big one, the big one's coming. But all these countries, and now I understand, you know, these are called the, then they were called less developed countries. Now, we used to call them underdeveloped countries, those are all wrong terms. Those are not politically correct. You have to call these emerging countries. You can't use less developed or underdeveloped because that's... In fact, the other day I heard the politically correct term for something that's overweight is laterally challenged. That's the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, that's a, in, so there's always something to worry about. And the key organ in your body in the stock market is your stomach. It's not the brain. If you can add 8 and 8 and get reasonably close to 16, that's the only level of math you need to know. You don't know to need the area under the curve. Remember that quadratic equation and a, an integral calculus and the area under the curve? I mean, whoever cared what was under the damn curve. I mean, you know, <laughs> but you had to study this. You don't need this in the stock market. So all you have to know is you're going to see it's always going to be scary. There's going to be always something to worry about. And you just have to forget all about it. Cut it all out and own good companies or own turnarounds. Study them and you'll do well.